Finding the right golf ball for your game can be a bit of a challenge. Well, in today's video, we're gonna be looking at Titleist Premium Golf Balls. They've just released the new Pro V1 and Pro V1X, but they also have the AVX and Left Dash Pro V1X. I've got Tom Hiscock down here, who is a ball fitter from Titleist. We're gonna go through a fitting process for me, but we're also gonna pick his brain to find out a little bit more about these golf balls to see which one might work for your game. Well, this is uh, beautiful, isn't it? Oh, awesome, Dan. This is more like it. I feel like spring is in the air. Yeah, it's, it makes you want to go and play golf, doesn't it? So where do we go from here then? What are we going to do? So we're going to start with a 50 yard pitch. Yep. And this is going to be a club of your choice. I'm not going to dictate which club you hit. From there, we're going to move a little bit further up the hole. We're going to hit seven iron. Um, and then we're going to finish off with the driver just to make sure that the golf was doing what we want it to do. I got a 58 degree wedge, so I use 58 when okay. I'm playing 50 yard shots. All cool. Right. There's that shot that I hit, you see? Nice start to make. A little blocker. <laughs> better. Yeah. Did you notice oh, much nice. of a difference between the two of them? I, I gotta say, I just got the sense that time that I got a little bit more of a clickier feel off the face. Okay. Compared to the first one, which yeah. felt a little, almost like a little softer. And what about the strike? Did it feel sim like a similar strike or slightly different? No, those two were slightly different. The fact that the, the, the first one was a little bit higher on the face, went a bit right. And the mm -hmm. second one, a little bit lower, came out a fraction lower. How was that? That was good. That was really good. Yeah, that was nice. That felt quite soft, actually, that one. Just to give you a bit of feedback on them. Yeah. First shot I hit felt one of the softer balls. Mm -hmm. The second shot I hit was a little bit, felt a bit clicky, a bit firmer. Yeah. Again, I've not seen the actual ball themselves. The third ball felt like the first ball, and the fourth ball felt like the second ball. Okay. The golf balls that you hit, you're pretty much spot on. Um, I? Yeah. Okay. But this is also why we do it blind, because if, if we put a golf ball down that the golfer recognises, yeah. again, they might have a preconceived idea as to how it might sound and feel. So we always yeah. try and do it blind. Not a blindfold, obviously, but, no, 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 no. but put them down so the golfer can't see which is which. Okay. And then at least we get a true, a true honest answer based yeah. on, on what they've experienced. Well, from that point, the first one and the third one felt the nicest. Okay. However, the second two, the feedback was almost like, because they felt a little bit harder off the face, I almost like got a better sense of where I struck them in the face. Okay. Because of that. Yeah, and it's really interesting, isn't it? Again, this is something we're always trying to take into consideration when we're, we're going through this process. We're yeah. always trying to get as much feedback as we can from the golfer, yeah. because ultimately, at the end of this fitting, we want to recommend a golf ball that they are happy to play. Optimal launch we're looking for is somewhere between 28 to 30 degrees and, and, and roughly around about six to six and a half thousand revs of spin with, the, with that kind of delivery in that club. Numbers then, I've hit 10 shots with each golf ball. Yep. Uh, we've done this back in the studio to get some dry ball data. Mm -hmm. We're going to look at launch yep. and we're looking look at the spin characteristics of these golf balls. Yep. Okay. And then you can tell me whether you think they are kind of what you expect to see, almost like what they say on the tin. Yeah, absolutely. Pro V1 golf ball, 30.5 launch yep. with a spin characteristic of averaging 6,262 revs. Yep. 50 yards. Pro V1X. 29.7, so launching a bit lower, launching smidgen lower, yeah, but spinning a little bit more at 6,383 on an average. Yeah. So that's what we're gaining another 100, 150 revs. Yep. Yeah. Then we move into the AVX ball, 29.2. Mm -hmm. So we're launching again, fraction lower. Yep. Yeah. But spin characteristics is a 5,939 revs. Yep. Yeah. So a little bit lower than the Pro V1 mm -hmm. and a, little, a bit lower than the Pro V1X. Yeah. Then the left dash Pro V1X. Yeah. Launch 29, so lower again, mm -hmm. but not a lot. There's yeah. One or one yeah, and a half yeah, degree there difference about, between these. With a spin characteristic of 6,392. So almost identical to what I'm getting out of the Pro V1X. Yeah. All three of them going 50 yards. All yeah. four of them going 50 yards. Yeah. So those, those numbers are, are pretty much exactly how we'd, or what we'd expect to see, Dan. From here, we're, we're, because we're swinging the club so slowly, and this is a really good argument for club head speed and why we, we don't consider it, we're only activating one part of the golf ball. So AVX, Pro V1, Pro V1X have all got the same cover, soft cast urethane. Then we move into left dash Pro V1X, which is a slightly firmer blend of urethane. 
but you could argue also that even though those numbers are very very similar you're going to see slight fluctuations between the numbers and this can be down to the player uh, as we all know we, we are pretty inconsistent um, so you will see slight fluctuations but those numbers are very very similar that's kind of what we'd expect to see question then quickly before i hit some should i get the same sense of feel that i was getting out of that pitch shot into now the seven iron or will it now start to blend a little bit more and sort of all sort of feel similar personally i, I start to see the golf ball or feel the golf balls blending as we get further from the green. Some golfers will experience them changing or, or, or staying the same as they did in the pitch shot. So again, this is a very personal thing and very preferential. This is why it's really important for us to keep asking questions and getting feedback throughout the whole, the whole process. Two really good shots. Yeah. There. And not, I'll be honest with you, felt no different between them. Yeah. Um, and the flight almost looked, well, almost looked identical. Yeah, they did, didn't eyes. they? Yeah, yeah they, really they did. did from here as well. They, yeah. they were pretty much on top of each other. Yeah, they really they? were, yeah. Okay, slightly thinner off the face, I would okay. say. Yeah. Slightly cleaner, but still a decent flight. Yeah. Again, that was nice. Yeah. Any, any feedback in terms of the feel, I know we discussed that a minute ago. <sighs> Nothing at all. No. Zero difference in feel. Yeah. Right, so seven iron down, we're now looking at uh, the parameters we're looking at are spin, peak height and descent angle. Okay. Pro V1 then. Yep. 5,824 spin mm -hmm. on an average. Yep. Little lower than I would like, if okay. I'm honest. I would like to see the upper fraction more. Yep. Peaking out 34 yards high. Yep and then descent angle at 49.7 degrees. Okay. If you compare that to the Pro V1X, yeah. 6,162 spin, so okay. now we're starting to move into the window of where I want it. Yeah. Um, peaking out 33 yards high. Okay. Descent angle 49.3. Okay. So coming in slightly flatter. Yeah. A AVX, spin at 5.5, 5, 5,597, so dropped right down. Yeah. So not where I kind of probably see myself. Yeah. Peaking out 34 yards high with a descent angle of 49.5. Okay. So not a great deal of difference in that. Yeah. And then if we go to the left dash, Pro V1X. Yeah. 6,100 spin, 34 yards peak, peaking out mm -hmm. high uh, with a descent angle 49.5. So okay. from a descent angle point of view, we're not They're seeing a similar, lot. Aren't they? They're very, yeah. very similar. Yeah. It's more the spin of which I'm seeing and we're jumping around here. Yeah, and would you consider yourself a fairly low spin player typically? Uh, not really, I'm not okay. a low spinner, so I'm not somebody that sweeps it, yeah, but yeah. I'm not a digger, I'm not somebody that tends to get lots and lots of yeah. um, spin loft on it, that okay. generates lots of spin. So, yeah. uh, personally, and you tell yeah. me, but I think probably at this moment in time, coming into the new range of ball, yeah. the Pro V1X is kind of it's doing the numbers that we we would like to see yeah i think you know when you look at that that data and, and it's really important to note as well that this also highlights the human um element of, yeah. of this as well because you know typically from a spin point of view avx is the lowest spin golf ball here is it with seven iron yeah and, and in the premium and that's what it's doing which yeah. is great yeah then we move up to left dash pro one x yeah which should be next in line then Pro V1, then Pro V1X. So there's a little bit of, they're slightly different in terms of what they should do, but this is, again, this is down to the individual. And, and although you're a really good player and you're pretty consistent, there are gonna be some slight fluctuations yeah, slight in delivery. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And everything that go yep. on with it. Yep. And reactions to previous shots. Absolutely. You know, yep. that people don't take that into consideration enough. So do it's they? A, it's you miss a, one left, you're then gonna start doing things to it. Of you course know? you are. Yeah, but this also highlights the importance of using the same ball all the time. Yeah. Doesn't it? And we haven't even discussed that yet, but no. you know, if, if your delivery is changing all the time and your choice of golf ball is changing all the time, yeah. you've got no hope, have you? It's no, gonna it's really. gonna make it so much so much more difficult. Um so yeah, based on that, um, you know, Prave One X for me is in a good place for spin. You liked the flight, you liked yeah. how it was 
it was they all performing they all, they all looked like they were going out there at a similar sort of height and things for me personally looking at it just from here yeah yeah um, so so from here when you when you've got a seven iron in your hand the dimple pattern is mainly going to be responsible for ball flight right spin is going to be determined by the layers of the golf ball and, and they're all slightly different compression and therefore the layering system will will give you slightly different spin profiles. The big stick now then? Yeah. But how much do you really focus on the driver when it comes to a ball fit? Yeah, it's, it's a really interesting point. I mean, the driver for us is probably the least important club. Um, although it's it's our it's our whole starter and, and you know we want to maximise distance as, as much as we can. All of the golf balls in our range are designed to go a long way. If we made a short golf ball, obviously it's not going to sell. So spin is going to be very similar across the board and hopefully we'll, we'll see that in a minute. Um, but essentially, if the, the golf ball isn't doing what we want it to do from the tee, having already kind of made our recommendation by now, we can tweak the driver to suit what we want to see off the tee. The, the strike location and the setup of the driver and the human themselves are going to be far more influential on spin and distance than the golf ball is from here. So the design brief with um, the new golf ball 2023 Prave 1 and Prave 1 X was to lower long game spin by making a couple of changes to the core of the golf ball. So the cover, the dimple pattern and the, the mantle layer of the golf ball remains the same as it does from 2021 but we've made these core changes. So we've created a higher gradient core with Prave 1. It's a solid core but it's higher gradient from the inside to the outside of the core. That's enabled us to lower long game spin. With Prave 1 X which is a dual core golf ball, it's a four piece golf ball, we've enlarged the inner core which has enabled us to create, again, a higher gradient from the inner core to the outer core, helping to lower that long game spin, again, increasing distance. So it's kind of a match made in heaven. You've got lower long game spin, more distance, but you still have that short game performance from 2021 models. Wait, well, literally was... you could chuck a blanket. How good was that as well? That was AVX. That was AVX? Yeah. That was a good launch. Really good. Face, wasn't it? Really good. Pro V1 averaging 15.9 launch. Okay. Which is quite an interesting, it's slightly higher than what I would expect to normally get. Yeah. Spin though, 2,258 on an average. Yeah. Average carry 257. Mm -hmm. If we then look at Pro V1 X, launch 14.8, so a degree lower. Yeah. Spin 2,324 on an average, so what's that? A hundred, less than a yeah, hundred revs. Less than hundred, yeah. Um, carry distance 263. Yeah. We picked up six yards, but again, such strike dependent. Yeah, absolutely. AVX, launch 13.4, so lower again. Mm -hmm. Spin 2,332, almost identical to the Pro V1 X. Yeah. Um, carry distance between the two of them at 259. Yeah. And then left dash Pro V1X, launch 14.7, so mm -hmm. very similar to the Pro V1X. Yeah. Spin 2,289 revs, so literally again, like I said earlier, yeah. you throw a blanket over the spin numbers here. Yeah. Carry distance 264. Yeah. So very similar to what I'm getting out of the Pro V1X. Yeah. And th this is why we don't fit to driver, because we don't fit the golf, the golf ball to the driver, because you know, you look at those numbers and even though they're all really well struck, yeah. there's still going to be a slight difference in terms of strike and even, even, even if it's just a dimple out of place, yeah. that's going to affect strike. So, you know, in terms of distance, they're all virtually the same, aren't they? Yeah, they really the are. The spin's virtually the same. The launch is going to be dependent on strike location. Yeah. Um, and, oh, oh hello. he's happy. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Got a new friend on the channel, Dan. Yeah. There he goes. <laughs> like we said earlier, the, the, the golfer is far more influential on spin and distance from the tee box than the golf ball is. Yeah. Um, we fit the, the golf ball to the wedges and the irons, we fit the driver to the golf ball, and this is why, because it's very hard to, to, to point out which is, which is better. They're all doing virtually the same thing. Um, so if we really needed to, if there was something in there you didn't like with the golf ball we fitted, with the rest of the shots, we yeah. could potentially tweak the driver in terms of loft or, wow, or yeah. center of gravity or start looking at the club. CG. What, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So based on that then, mm. where are you going to put me for this year? I think from a numbers perspective, especially with the new changes to the new golf ball, um, I think Pravy 1X is looking really good. You know, it, it performed really well in the short 
shots and and I'm pretty sure you, you felt it was was good and you liked it I think from a numbers point of view the Pro V1 slightly concerns me that the fact that I'm just spinning it a little low yeah um, with that seven iron I like the spin I need to maximize as much spin as I possibly can as we can see from those those numbers there and I just think yes there is a difference in feel which I do prefer the feel of the Pro V1 yeah but I think because the performance of them I want the spin I need the performance of the ball I think the Pro V1X kind of suits it ticks the boxes doesn't it yeah I think definitely based on what we've done today and, and looking at the the hard data yeah X is is the the better golf ball for you but I think this is also where it's really important, once we've been through the process, for you to go and sample some golf balls on the golf course, yeah, yeah, because yeah. essentially, you know, we don't play golf on the practice ground or in the studio. No. The, golf, the golf course is going to ask many questions of us, and therefore the golf ball needs to perform in every area of the game. You know, whether, when you're hitting shots from the rough, when you're hitting bunker shots, when you're hitting shots out of the trees, not that you're in the trees very often. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, the golf ball has to perform everywhere, doesn't it? So this is a massive part of it in terms of getting the hard data and making a recommendation from here, but then the on-course testing is really, really important just to validate what we've done. Yeah. So another fantastic fitting there by Tom, giving me all the information I need to choose the ball that's gonna fit right for my game. I think we ask a lot of the golf ball, don't we, when it comes to the feel off of it, the, the performance around the greens, the performance in the mid game, the performance from the driver. There's so much that goes into making these golf balls, so much that goes on behind the scenes that's only gonna help us improve our own game. And hopefully you've got a little bit more information on which ball is gonna suit your game. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all again very soon.